Hello everyone, it's Vesper here with another rant video. And I just want to warn you that this video is really, really, really just me ranting. There's no other motive or intention behind it. And yeah, there may be a lot of swearing or profanity because when I get heated about something, I tend to swear. There's a reason why I tend to steer clear of talking about ethnic and racial things. Actually, not a reason, many reasons. And by the end of this video, it's probably going to be pretty obvious why I don't talk about these things. And you're probably going to hope that I continue or go back to not talking about these things, but whatever. Today is a special day because I feel like, I actually feel like for once, opening up those floodgates just a tiny bit to talk about this topic. Everything you hear me say in this video is but the very, very tip of a really, really, really big iceberg. A while ago, I made a video about queer identity, suggesting that for me, my queer identity encompasses more than just my relationship with heteronormativity, i.e. my sexuality and my gender. It also encompasses my relationship with the social norms of the black community. I have a long history of deviation from social norms within the black community, including the labels and the alienation, etc. that comes with that. In middle school and high school, a common label was Oreo. Oreo was slash is a term used by black people to describe someone who is black on the outside but white on the inside. Don't speak a certain way, check. Don't listen to rap music or hip hop, check. Live on the wrong side of town, check. Don't have enough black friends, check. This shitty ass term was created within the black community to be used to ostracize, alienate, and degrade members of its own community who were deemed not black enough to be black. How shitty is that? And guess what? Now that I'm an adult, I have even more things that get checked off on that Oreo list. Graduated from college with a GPA over 3.5, check. Get perceived as having a successful life, check. Not heterosexual, check. But wait, not heterosexual? How does that make you white? Good question. Hell if I know. I blame the homophobia and transphobia that is very strong and rampant in the black community. And yes, homophobia and transphobia is everywhere in every community ever. But seriously, if you know the black community, oh my god. Deviated from gender roles and gender norms? Check. Never been in a relationship with a black person? Check. Hold up. Never been in a relationship with a black person? Blasphemy. Even a black person who doesn't tick any of the Oreo boxes other than not being heterosexual or cisgender or sticking to gender roles will still get their blackness questioned by other members of the black community. And dating outside of your ethnic group? You'd think that by now, we would be well beyond this. And there are lots of members in the black community who are, and who are perfectly fine with interracial marriages and relationships, etc. But there are still a good number of people who will give other black people crap for being in a relationship with someone who isn't black. And the fact that this is even still an issue now in 2014 is like, what the fuck? When I reflect back on my life, it feels like no other group of people has been more critical of me or the things that I have done than the black community. And yes, this is a huge generalization. Of course, there are plenty of awesome people who are black and members of the black community. I'm not saying the whole black community has attacked me or anything. But if I look at the people or the experiences that I have had where I have been called out on something, questioned, or told that I can't do or can't be something or whatever, more often than not, it has been members of the black community who have said this to me or who have policed me in some way. Why is it that people seem to think that being black and asexual is an oxymoron? Why is it that as a black person who gets perceived as a woman, that people view me and sexualize me in some kind of exotic, 
way that I swear is, I swear it's linked back to associations with my race. And these associations happen within the black community, from other black people, and outside of it. Why is it that when I think of transitioning as a black non-binary person, I worry, I especially worry about the reactions and hate, potential violence that I may face from members of the black community. And in saying this, I am in no way trying to suggest that I don't worry about hate and violence from everyone. I am not trying to single out the black community as being particularly violent or hateful. Not at all. But, based on past experience that I have being policed and criticized by members of the black community for far less personal issues, I can only imagine that when it comes to something more personal and more intimate like sexuality and gender, and not just intimate to me, other people seem to be personally invested in my sexuality and gender for some reason, when it comes to me imagining how people will react to this more in these more intimate topics, it's a scary thought for me because, I mean, if they police me about my hair and my clothes and shit, what are they going to do when it's my gender and my sexuality? And this is me questioning people that I know. I mean, people that I don't know, I think, can have even more adverse reactions. And to go back on to something that I just said, I cannot even begin to and will not try to explain or describe to you who may not be a member of the black community the type of policing and criticism that happens between members of the black community. It's like, even when it comes to t like really seemingly insignificant things, like how a parent maintains their kid's hair, other members of the black community, even if they're not family, complete strangers will police that parent on how they're upkeeping that person's, their kid's hair. And that's just some little seemingly ex insignificant example. The policing that happens, even about little things like hair, within the black community is real and a serious thing that I think the black community needs to discuss more. But, as I said, given how some members of the black community react or criticize or police really small things, I can only imagine the lengths they might go to police something that is considered more significant and personal. Honestly, not having to deal with the criticism and policing within the black community I think is one of the perks of living abroad. And I was totally surprised when I came to this realization, but it is totally true. Outside the US, I face a lot of ignorance, homophobia, transphobia, stereotypes, etc. Everything that I would come across in the US, except it's different. I'm living in a culture that has completely different stereotypes about my race versus the stereotypes that exist in America. I'm in a culture that has a different notion of what femininity and masculinity, etc. is. Those are completely cultural things. For example, it feels completely different when a Japanese person makes a really ridiculously ignorant comment about my race, U.S. politics, history, Obama, my hair, my skin tone, anything. Because, honestly, I can't expect a Japanese person to be versed in U.S. history or African hair texture or things that are considered PC here but not in America, etc. I can give that Japanese person a lot more leeway and wiggle room and I can forgive that Japanese person for saying something ignorant and ridiculous a lot more easily than I can forgive someone, a black person, who's calling into question something that I'm doing because of my race or because of what they associate as being the norm 
in my race or my perceived gender, etc., etc. In Japan, I have to keep in mind, and I'm constantly reminded, that I very well may be the first and possibly even only black person that anyone meets in person. I live in such a remote or have lived in such a remote area of Japan. So when I get the responses and the questions and stuff that I get, I have to keep all of this in mind. I can't expect, I cannot hold them accountable for the same things that I can hold an American person accountable for. It's completely different. So yeah, living abroad comes with lots of difficulties, of course. I mean, a whole new set of difficulties that aren't even necessarily related to my race or ethnicity. But at the same time, I feel disconnected from a community that used to police my identity or my actions, and that feels really nice. Anyway, I kind of went off on a tangent there. Um, this rant really is just a rant. I'm not trying to educate people on anything. However, I guess I am trying to speak out against the policing and criticism and crap that goes on between members of the black community. And that totally relates to this channel, I feel like, because of intersectionality. I don't know if this happens so much in other communities, but I have seen people within the asexual and bi communities suggesting that race or ethnicity doesn't intersect with sexuality, that they are completely separate. And I can't even... I don't understand how people could at all believe this to be true. It pisses me off in a way, but more than anything, it bewilders me. I'm like, how... you must have some kind of privilege, some kind of privilege, I have no idea what, that is allowing you to be unscathed by the intersectionality of race, ethnicity, and sexuality or gender. But just because you don't feel that intersectionality doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. This video only barely touches upon intersectionality because it's a rant. I'm not trying to educate you or tell you about intersectionality. But I hope that those of you who question the intersectionality of race, ethnicity, and gender or sexuality at least call that stance or that belief back into question because, yeah, it exists. I'm going to stop this video here before I go off on another tangent and I get really heated about this topic. But I would love more than anything to hear other people's experiences and thoughts on this if you have any. I don't care if you're black or not. I would really love to hear everyone's experiences with, I don't know, policing within their com community or the intersectionality that they feel between their ethnicity, race, and sexuality, gender. So please, leave comments. That said, ignorant comments, uneducated comments, please keep those to yourself. I will not respond to such comments. Anyway, that's all for now. I'll see you guys again later, hopefully with a video that isn't a rant this time. Sorry. Anyways, thank you for watching if you watched this far. See you.